This video is demonstrating the FPGA OS, FOS. It's a multi-tenancy environment for FPGA accelerators and provides programming interfaces through both Python and through C. This is driven by the Zuckel shell. It's a way of splitting our region into our fabric, FPGA fabric into three regions, with each region providing a Axie master and a slave to interface with the rest of the system. The regions are identical, which allows relocation from our bit streams in one region to any of the others, and you can combine these regions to fit accelerators that cannot fit in a single region. So this is running on the board right now, and at the moment we are using all three of the regions to run this Sobol application on the right hand side of the screen. So what we can do is switch this Mandelbrot on the left hand side from software to running on the hardware in an accelerator. And you can see that the daemon has allocated it this third region to run that. Meanwhile, the Sobol has been now relegated to the first two. We can expose more parallelism on the Mandelbrot, bring it up to two units, and you can see that the daemon has allocated another uh, PR region to run this accelerator. And we can expose three, and it will give it all the regions, and Sobol now runs in software considerably slower. While all these three regions are being used, we can switch over to this Iron Python notebook to demonstrate how it works. Where we just grab a buffer, read in a picture from a file, uh, fill the buffer with the picture data, and we can run the hardware unit on that data. So that requires defining the unit name and the parameters of the input output buffers and the image width and height. After the hardware unit completes, this function returns. We can populate a file with the data and view it in the notebook. This was run all the while the uh, Mandelbrot unit was still running in the background, and this application will not have really felt the uh, Sobol being run underneath it. This splitting allows us to develop FPGA components such as shells, accelerators, and applications develop uh, separately by only building against an API which defines the interface between the layers. This decouples development and allows you to change individual parts without having to adjust and update the parts that they interface with. And each developer only has to consider their API and nothing above or below them in the chain. So, Everything we've done and all the code is available on GitHub. We've provided tutorials to perform all of this yourself, as well as Linux images which come preloaded with all of the code in a desktop environment to use them with.